Story of microorganisms. In this chapter, we are going to study about microorganisms. So, what are microorganisms? In the previous chapter, we have seen certain organisms, they have only one cell and which are not visible to the naked eye. That means, they are very small. Such organisms are called as microorganisms. Right. So, before we enter into this lesson, let us ask some questions. We see different kind of changes around us. Especially if you see some kind of changes in your kitchen, you will be wondered. See, while preparing curd out of milk, the curd will be warmed and then a little bit of curd is added to the milk. So after some time, 3 to 4 hours, you find that the milk turns to curd. So why a little amount of curd is to be added to the warm milk to get the curd? What is there in the little bit of curd we add? What is there in the sample we add to the milk? And if you see in the kitchen, if the food is not the cooked food or the prepared food, rice or curries, if they are not kept in the refrigerator for one day or for some hours, you see that the food gets spoiled. So if you see the food after some two or three days, it will be stinking and badly spoiled with bad smell. So why it is happening? Even though the food is hygienically prepared, if the food is um, cooked well, even then why the food is getting spoiled? So what is the reason? What makes the food to get spoiled? So these, all these kind of questions were mysterious before 16th century. In 16th century, that is approximately 400 years ago, there was a person called as Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek. He demystified the questions by observing microorganisms. So this person, he observed the microorganisms and he found that there are certain organisms which are not visible to the naked eye. Story of microscope and discovery of microorganisms. So that was the year 1674. When Anthony van Leeuwenhoek observed a drop of pond water with his handmade microscope. So that is like a hand lens. He observed the drop of pond water and he observed different things in 1674. We can say that that was the beginning of microbiology. So microbiology is a science that deals with the study of microorganisms. So who began that study? Anthony van Leeuwenhoek in the year 1674. So he studied different kind of things are there in the drop of water. Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, he was a cloth merchant basically, but he was very much interested in observing the minute things. So he prepared one crude microscope through which he observed so many things. A handheld microscope by using which he observed different things. So he observed microorganisms in 1678. He keenly observed different things and in 1678 he found some moving creatures in the medium which he collected and he named these moving creatures as animal cues. So later, these animalcules were named as bacteria. So apart from this bacteria, he, have, he observed so many moving creatures, minute creatures, microorganisms. So they got their respective names later. So after that, the scientists observing their uh, other features, they named them as in different groups and classes. So he was the person who contributed for the science of microbiology by his keen observations of pond water and other uh, medium under his microscope. So his microscope, it is having only one lens, single lens microscope. Generally now the present day microscopes, they have an objective and eyepiece. That means they will be having 
two lenses but his microscope it had only one lens even though it is powerful which could magnify up to 300 times it could magnify the object which it is placed so that was the power of the microscope made by Antony van Leeuwenhoek so later in the uh, later period whatever the organisms observed by Antony van Leeuwenhoek they were named uh, uh, different names according to their features so that was the contribution done by Antony van Leeuwenhoek and that was the start or beginning of the microbiology now microbiology is a very big science it tells about the various kind of microorganisms so the microbiology helps us in different ways how does it helps what is the study of uh, use with the study of microorganisms what benefit we get by studying the microorganisms there are so many benefits one thing we can understand the microorganisms which cause diseases so by that we can find medicines many microorganisms they are disease causing so we can study how they are causing the disease and we can find out how to um, find medicines how to prepare medicines to control the microorganism that is one way apart from the harmful microorganisms plenty of microorganisms are useful and we can find how they are useful for us so there are so many branches are coming out of microbiology using microbes for uh, different purposes even in controlling pollution also the present day technologists the microbiologists are finding some bacteria or some microbes which will clear the pollution pollutants in the environment in such a way there are versatile plenty of benefits are there with the microorganisms so that is all studied under the science microbiology which was started by a great person Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek.